Hi and welcome. A popular question I'm asked here in the store is, what shallow size am I? I'll take you through a few steps to make sure that you've got the right size. Please note, this is our sizing and you should always check with your teacher as different teachers have different preferences. First up, we need to make sure that we're sitting on the right size chair. What I like to make sure is that the knees are lower than the rest of my leg. So right now, I'm too low. That's way better. So you can now see that my knees are slanted down. This is important because when the knee is higher than the leg, you start to get pins and needles and it's not comfortable. And you're not stable. You need to be rock solid when playing. So this is the best position to be in. Now we need to get the right end pin length. There are three things that we need to check. We need to make sure that our inner thigh is making contact to the lower bout. Our sternum is connected to the upper bout and the C peg is under our ear. Let's go through this now. First I'll check my end pin out, place it down, check my inner thigh is in contact with the lower bout, sternum, upper bout, C peg under my left ear. That's all lining up quite well. I'm now on a three quarter cello. You can see that it's in the correct position with my thigh in the lower bout. But all the other prerequisites are not there. You can see the C peg is way below my ear and this is not even making contact with my chest. This is too small. If your child is playing on something like this, it's maybe time to consider upgrading. That three quarter example, it's quite obvious on me because I'm quite tall. But here are two other tests that you can do at home to see if you are on the right size. First, the bow test. Now it's important to make sure that you have the right bow to go with your cello. This is a full size cello so it requires a full size bow. This is important. Once you have the right size bow, put it on the heel on the A string and extend all the way to the tip of your bow, like this. What you want to do is check your elbow. You can see it's slightly bent here. This is good. If my arm was fully extended, it means the cello and the bow is too big. On the other hand, if I'm too bent, it means it's too small. Lastly, this is the standing test. We have kept the end pin at the same length as we determined earlier. What we want to do is just to make sure that the cello is not higher than the player. If the cello is, it means it's too big, and this affects maneuverability. You want to make sure that your child can easily pack up your instrument and take it to school. So there you go. There's a quick sizing guide. We hope it's helped you. Please feel free to contact us with any further questions.